This video podcast is brought to you by McCarter Online. Well, the three, the three main stories are uh, the stories of the Wright brothers, two uh, who uh, completely, uh, I mean, they're sort of famously dull. They're the doer, <laughs> serious, people uh, who, who had never left Dayton, Ohio, who got the idea that they wanted to invent something. They had a failure as a inventing a printing press, and when that didn't work, they decided to invent something else, and they thought maybe an airplane was a good idea. Um, and they couldn't test their their uh, uh, planes, their ideas in Dayton, because there wasn't enough wind. And the Smithsonian said, well, if you want constant wind, go to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. The Outer Banks of North Carolina in 1903 were like going to the center of the Sahara Desert. There was they were uninhabited, they were 100 miles, 100 miles long, and a mile wide of beach, just empty sand. And they, they uh, proceeded to plod along on, because they had this dogged determination to do something. They had failures along the way, and then they figured out what, the, what, was, what, would, what would correct it. These two guys who had never passed beyond high school um, ended up recalculating the entire mathematical basis of, of aeronautics in, in one summer. Um, and the plane happened. That's, that's one of the stories. The other is the story of Amelia, of uh, Lindbergh, who uh, got this idea that he, he alone knew how to fly to, so, to uh, Paris. There was a challenge in a newspaper of $25,000 for the first person or persons who could fly to, uh, from New York to Paris or the other way around. And um, everybody was building big planes and having crews and everything. And he, thought he had this one idea, which was uh, a light plane with as little weight in it as possible would travel farther than other trains. That meant flying solo. Well, flying solo meant he had to fly. I mean, it meant, it meant he had to stay awake for 36 hours straight. And uh, while he didn't say it in his first book, he said later on that halfway through the, uh, the trip, he began to hallucinate. Well, we took that one little fact and have turned it into uh, exactly what were those hallucinations? Um, and what was, rest what was he wrestling with in his mind that allowed him to, to, do, to uh, they kept him going because obviously he didn't fall asleep and didn't crash the plane and actually made it. So the third one is, is Amelia Earhart who was plucked from uh, nowhere, I mean, just sort of at random uh, because the rich woman decided she wanted to send a plane, she wanted a woman to duplicate what Lindbergh did and they didn't have one so they went set out to find someone. They accidentally found one of the most extraordinary women around, but she had done nothing of any distinction until that moment. She came out of complete obscurity, was stuck in the plane, the plane flew to England, and the instant it landed, she was the most famous woman in the world, just without question. And uh, the book publisher who had the book rights, who had actually organized this, uh, fell in love with her, and that caused uh, her a good deal of distress. She, of course, was uh, finally as one last uh, grand gesture was going to fly around the world, which no one had ever done, and uh, disappeared in the last leg of the flight over the Pacific, and that the mystery of whatever happened to her is um, the great mystery, you know, after Judge Crater of, uh, uh, of all time. And uh, But the truth of the matter is that, that all three of these people are mysteries. They were mysteries when they were alive, and um, no one has ever been able to quite pin down why these people who had done nothing particularly extraordinary until they did the extraordinary thing they did, why they did it, where they came from. And because they are mysteries, um, that seems really something for writers to, 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 to invent. And uh, that's the great you know, challenge of what we've, what we've been doing. What united these three stories? Why should it just be these? Why these three people? You could pick three other icons of flight. But what united them was not what our original idea was, which was creativity and the metaphor of creativity and lifting off the face of the earth and reaching for the sky, but obsession. Yeah. 
that the three, the three main characters were all people who had to do, at the risk of life and limb, what they did. This podcast has been brought to you by McCarter Theatre in Princeton, New Jersey. For tickets, call 609-258-ARTS or visit www.mccarter.org.